welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna talk about how much does it cost um to request a copy of your birth certificate or rom um uh through the psa serverless.com uh, um i'm gonna talk about how much it costs and how long does it take to get a copy um straight to your door and also which one is best uh what i was saying was like you gotta um first is you have to sign up a fedex account and next would once you get that account um uh, done you gotta go to the www.psaservice.ph.com or .com.ph i'm not sure which one so anyways i'm gonna put down the link below um so you gotta go to that website that's a legitimately web uh, that's a legitimate website so you go there um there's options there what uh, copy you are needing to get so it's either birth certificate rom etc etc so you go there you fill up all your information and um after that make sure that you get the right information uh, don't make a mistakes after that you go to the payment um it only cost me like twenty dollars to request a copy uh, so after you pay you get an email confirmation and you have to read through the email confirmation because it is very important to um you got to read the whole entire email because there's a there's important steps that you have to take actions. Um, that way you could get your copy of the documents that you requested. So uh, for me, uh, re I requested an ROM, a copy of ROM. Kasi nawala yung kopya ko. Matagal lang yung kopya ko kasi mga siguro over a decade ago nawala na yung kopya ko. So anyways... I needed one, so nag request ako ng kopya. But, um, so yun, um, where am I? Um, up, uh, your information. After that, you gotta go to the payment section, uh, page. After you pay, they will email you a confirmation number, confirmation email. You gotta read it through. There's an important steps there that you have to do. You ha excuse me. Um, you have to email them back. Um, whatever they asked you down in the email, you have to email them back all the steps, and that way they will um, deliver your documents that you paid for. Because if you don't, then they will not deliver your documents to your door. Uh, it doesn't matter if you pay; they will disregard it. So, very important. You have to check your email. Follow through the instruction, what you need to do next. And then after that, that's it. And all you got to do is wait for them to deliver it to you. Um, it took me, my document took uh, almost two weeks to get to me. But it's okay. It was, um, it cost less. Uh, for me, it cost less. And two weeks is not even that long. Um, than requesting it through your relatives. Um Kasi I tried once, uh, order ako. Uh, I asked for a copy of my birth certificate through my, uh, through my family, uh, member. Um, I asked my ate to, uh, get me a copy of my NSO, but, um, it took her two weeks to get it to me. Kasi that time when she, um, order a copy it was during lockdown in Cebu so the main office was closed so it took uh, her one week to get a copy for my birth certificate and then another one week to deliver it to me through LBC which is cost more it cost me like um, probably $70 which is a lot because um, not $70, probably less. 
Kasi I have to, you know, uh, kailangan ko siyang uh, bigyan ng pera for pamasahe, back and forth. At, um, yung pag-order ng kopya is like, uh, 300 or 500 pesos lang. Tapos yung pagpa-ilbisi ng documents, which is, takes like a week to get, to get it to me, it costs like, um, 2,000 pesos. So, which is more. That's like, mm, $30, $35. Um, so anyways, I ordered it online. It cost me $20 and it got to me in two weeks. So I think um, ordering it online, which is way better than um, through your relative, relatives. So I got mine. I got mine on Friday. I ordered mine on October mm, 5th. And I received it on October 15, 2021. So, um, yeah, that's it. This is mine. Yeah, mine. I, um, uh, they forwarded it to FedEx. First is like, I know, um, you have this small envelope inside the FedEx, um, envelope. So they have this. I'm not going to flip it over because then my information and personal information is in there. And then they put it inside the FedEx envelope to forward it to me. So mine got stuck in, in Alaska. I don't know why, but for some reason when I tracked my package, it got stuck there. But then the next day, um, I got it. So anyways, I hope this is a helpful information to any one of you guys who would want to order a birth certificate or ROM through uh, PSA Cerberus dot com um it's fast guys and easy all right thank you guys for watching and hope take care and see you later adios